as long as I'm doing the work that makes me personally happy and I feel passionate to create, then I can't go wrong. I'm Megan Hemsworth and I'm a surf and lifestyle photographer down here in Cornwall. Yeah, so I grew up in the Cotswolds. Um, Cornwall was always a holiday destination for me, so it will always be the most exciting place to go to. I might not know back then the difference between even a longboard and a shortboard, but wanting so desperately to be shooting what I admired, which was surfing. That'll take you to my wall then, where everything... Oh, the sofa moved. <laughs> my whole house is covered in images, whether it's mine or magazines or friends' work. These squares that I've got throughout, it's how it began with me feeling like I could put a price to my work. That was a huge confidence grower for me, thinking, oh, people actually want to want to see my work on their wall. That's cool. I met John John Florence at Pipe Masters in Hawaii. The best piece of advice I've been given was definitely from my lecturer um, at uni. And he was just saying to me how, as long as I'm shooting what I'm passionate about, even if people can't see that that's what I'm passionate about, Soon my work will sing exactly what I love and hopefully that message will just spread through my creativity. The moment it all changed for me was, uh, I think just reaching a point when suddenly everything was too much to handle and trying to juggle a part-time job with also demand from what I was trying to build as my freelance job. Slowly the scales tilted and I realized that actually the time I'm giving to my part-time job which was incredible, you know, I was working with students, um, teaching them photography, which is still like something I'm passionate about is teaching. Um, I had to let that go and just put my whole heart into the freelance, which I did and couldn't have been a better move really. Waking up in the dark is a mission. I love my sleep, so that's always hard. I have to like set my alarm and put it in another room, so I have to get out of bed, but it's, it's an all out of a f like pure passion to get in that water and see what you can make of it. I still can't understand how I've been this lucky. Travelling to places such as Iceland, Hawaii, America. I got to do California, which has always been on the list. The best thing that's happened for me so far in my um, freelance career, which is just up there in one of my most excited days yet, and I get excited a lot, but that day I was on cloud nine, is meeting and being able to photograph my idols since being a child. And um, these girls basically surf at Roxy, but to meet them and be able to photograph them, I can't explain how much that meant to me, and still does. And I look back at those photos, which were taken about three years ago, but they still are some of my favorite shots, because I just can't believe I've met them. Have you got a favourite adventure you've been on so far? Oh, favourite adventure. Um, I think adventure is quite an interesting word. An experience to me is an adventure. But the fun I have here in a wave I feel comfortable in with friends or just that feeling of belonging somewhere that you call home, that's the best adventure. Fulfilling my dream for me is just making sure that my job brings me back to the sea. <laughs> I still feel like a little kid having fun. <laughs>